What's going on everyone, it's Tay with Spectacular Gadgets and in this video, I'll get to test out a few cases from Poetic. First off, shout out to them for always making sure they equip me with the coolest cases for my devices. Let's do this! Like I mentioned at the start of the video, these cases were sent out to me from Poetic for the S24 Ultra. Also note that this device does have the anti-reflecting screen protector from Samsung. You can purchase these cases both from Amazon or the Poetic Cases website. The first one we have is the Poetic Neon Mag Pro. The Mag Pro will cost you $25. Next, we have the Poetic Neon MagSafe. MagSafe will cost you $27. And lastly, we have the Poetic Neon. This will cost you $17. I'll do a quick box tour for those of you who are not familiar with Poetic and typically they have just a simple plain black box with their branding on it. Now if you're interested in this, this is the Poetic Neon. It has several different colors that you can choose from. So go ahead and take a look on their site. What was sent to me is the black one so we'll go ahead and have a look. First look and what I'm noticing is the inside has a nice little pattern but also it is very grippy in here. As you see me rubbing my fingers on it, it is not the same texture on the outside. The outside is a bit more smooth and not as grippy, but you do notice on the sides here where my thumb and my fingertips are, you do have a grip bar there. So you do have a textured piece to hold on to so it won't slip out of your hands. This is also a two part case. So you can take it apart, put the silicone part on first and then put the back cover on last. Upon further observation, this right here, it looks like it could be MagSafe, but this is actually the standard neon case. So this particular case does not support MagSafe, and I will show you that further along in the video. You can put the case on like I'm doing right here, or pull it apart, whichever way works for you. I wanna first start off with showing you the screen protection that you're getting with the Poetic Neon case. Um, you're getting all around protection, all four sides, and on the back, you have the perfect amount of camera protection as it is kind of recessed down in there. The bulk factor, I would say, is on the medium side. It doesn't add a ton of bulk, but it does add to the device. Here you have a small strip of grip. This area is textured, but it's more so not as grippy. You have your covered buttons, and I don't have any issues pressing that on and off screen at all. So then you move up to some more grip, and then here again is that texture, but it's not grippy. You have your microphone cut out. Here is another strip of grip, and then on the bottom, you have the Type-C cutout, you have the microphone cutout, then you have a nice big opening for that S Pen, so you'll be able to get your S Pen in and out of the device without any issues, as you see. Enough space for me to go ahead and pull that S Pen out, and that's perfect in my book. While we're down here, I wanted to show you the cutout for the Type-C port. is a decent size for you to put any cable that you have lying around. The $17 Neon case is not MagSafe compatible. So this case, although it looked like we saw the imprint of what could be a MagSafe charging, this one only does wireless charging. So I repeat, this is not a MagSafe case. It will only do wireless charging. Removing the case isn't bad at all. Just use your thumbs to push the case off of the device. Moving right along, we have the Poetic Neon MagSafe. Again, this one's gonna cost you $27. Here's the case, and I know you're like, hey, spec, it's the same. But you notice we have the MagSafe ring that you can see here. So here's the first one that I did on the left, the Neon, just the regular one. And here is the MagSafe one. So we have the MagSafe, and also what's different is look at the camera protection. This also serves as a kickstand. So here is why the money is a little bit more when you're buying the MagSafe case. So again, just like the first one, it is a two-part case and you actually see the MagSafe there. So that's how you know as well that this is going to be MagSafe compatible. I decided that I'm going to go ahead and install this one um, by two-piecing it. I'll pull it apart 
and put the device in the more stretchy silicone part of the case first. So this might be easier for most and you might prefer this way uh, because the silicone part of this case it gives it flex. So when you're trying to just put it on without separating the case, it may curl under is what I noticed. So once you put the first part on, you can go ahead and slap the back on and that's very easy to do. It just lines up and you have it on just like that. Just like the neon case that we looked at earlier, this has the same screen protection as that. The only difference honestly with this one is you have that camera kickstand as well as the MagSafe. And I just wanna show you that shaking it like this, that kickstand is not budging, it's not gonna open, it's not gonna spring open. You actually have to force it open and the kickstand gives you a few positions to use it in. MagSafe? Well, yes, as you see, it goes perfectly on the MagSafe charger that I have and I can go ahead and spin it around just to show you the power of the magnet as well. Again, this is the same case as the first one, so the buttons and everything are exactly the same. I'll show you the volume keys, not having any issues. Last one up is the Neon Mag Pro, and this one will cost you $26. All of the cases shown in this video are military standard drop tested. What makes this one different from the previous one? Well, this MagSafe charging kickstand. So here you have the other two, which are right here. And it seems like, in my opinion, we just keep getting better as we go. So which one do you guys like so far? I think this one's gonna be my case of choice because of this kickstand ring um, is probably more preferred for me. Again, it is a two part case just like the other one. So with that being said, all of them are the same except for the additional features that each individual case brings after the standard neon case. Opening and closing the kickstand, there is resistance, so it's just not going to flap. The hinge seems pretty decent, so you shouldn't worry about your kickstand getting weak over time. That about wraps it up for this video. I wanna thank everyone for taking the time to chill with me as we go through this journey. And until next time, everyone, I want you all to have a spectacular day. Later.